Hello, my name is Brian Moda, and today I will be going over problem number one. I will set up my docucam for problem number one. For part A, we are looking for the mass of air in pounds and final temperature in Rankins. We are given uh, T1 equals 600, Rankins, our volume. It's 20 feet cubed. Our pressure one is given, which is 100 pounds per inch squared. And also, um, we know that the ideal uh, gas law, the constant R in English uh, units, is 53.35 feet pound force over uh, pound ranking. So we can use the equation PV equals MRT at state one. We are given all these so we can just manipulate and solve for our mass. So our mass equals uh, PV over RT, P1, V1. Uh, we just plug in our numbers. 20 feet cubed over 18.2 all over 53.35 feet pound force over pound R. We convert 12 inches to feet times that by 600. Rankings. We plug that into a calculator and we get 8.997 pounds. Now that we know our mass, we can solve for our second temperature, our final temperature, and we can use the same equation PV equals NRT. And except this time we'll use it at state two. So T2 equals P2. V2 over M R. We plug in our values. So 51.4 pound per inch squared. 144 inch squared over one feet. Converting uh, 34.83 feet cubed for our volume. And our mass that we, oh, sorry our mass so it's 8.997 and then our r 53.35 we plug that in and we get a value of 37909 in rankings and that is our final temperature and our mass so temp mass for part b it's asking for heat transfer uh, I utilize the equation of energy is internal energy plus kinetic plus potential. Here we know that we are neglecting kinetic and energy for our um, delta U. We know that this equation is our heat minus our work. Our work is given and it is 194.34 BTU. So here I utilize the equation of delta U equals mass times our uh, CV, which is our uh, specific heat uh, time or that uh, with our T2 minus our T1. So um, by we know our mass, we need to solve for our CV and we know our two temperatures. So to by solving our CV, we look at table, uh, table eight, 
20. Here we get um, our values in um, kilojoules per kilogram times Kelvin. So we actually want it in English. So we have to convert all that. So in table A20, we are given, well, first, um, I'm using the specific heat at our temperature two, which is 537.09. If you convert that to Kelvin, um, you get 90, or 298.3 Kelvin. By looking at the table, you, you see that that is in between um, 300 and 280. So I have to interpolate. And the given values for interpolate was, it was in between 300 and 250 degrees Kelvin over. Um, this is the CV at each um, temperature equals, and then our what what we want, what we're gonna solve, minus two fifty over x minus point seven one six. So our x turns out to be seven one seven kilojoules per kilogram times Kelvin. We don't want that. We actually want um, our units to be in BT, BTU over pound uh, Rankins. If you convert that, that turns into 0.17125. Now I can um, come over and plug in my values. So, oh, sorry. So this is actually not to you. This is actually Q. Q equals all this. Um, so my mass, we plug in our mass. So um, my mass, uh, this is actually Q, not delta Q. This is Q at specific uh, temperature, which is uh, at this. So um my mass is 8.997 pounds times my cv that i found down here and that is 0.17125 and then my temperature second is 5 37.09 minus our first is 600 rankings so my q if you plug that in the calculator that will give you a value of Approximately uh, no, sorry, this is delta Q. Getting confused. So this is delta U. My delta U, I get a value of negative ninety six point nine two, and um, my equation for Q, if I manipulate that and I add um, my work to the other side, then um, I get plus work equal, oh, sorry, delta Q equals delta U plus delta work. So here I plug in my values. So delta Q equals my negative 96.92 plus my work that is given, which is 94.34. Uh, my delta Q turns out to be, if I plug that in the calculator, that 
that gives me 97.42 and this is BTU.